pray for today that will last you a lifetime. They must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that is master key. Jesus is the one that has that master key. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. They must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key. Jesus is the one that has that master key. You are going to receive a favor today that will last you a lifetime. They must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that key. His master key. Jesus is the one that has that master key. I want to thank everybody for joining us this morning. Good morning everywhere around the globe. Wherever you may be watching us from, I want to welcome everyone into this wonderful anointing service. I want to uh, let you know that the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. Today is literally the day of uh, 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 the, our, um, today is the 14th day of this fasting that we have been on. And we are going on a journey of 21 days. And we have reached today's 14th day. And we are so grateful to God for what he has done for us as individuals, as uh, a family, and thanking him for what he's done. Uh, I want to let you know that the Lord will do great things in your life today. Mm -hmm. Please understand, today is our uh, anointing service. Uh, this is my own of oil. Uh, my own one of oil is that they bought you today. Uh, so <laughs> to make it a bit easier, the Lord told Samuel, carry your own of oil. Eh? Yeah, I carry my own. Like, if I bring your own of oil, if I bring on here and say, bring all of this, this man is a herbalist. No doubt, this man is the latest London herbalist. How can he be carrying on? <laughs> so that you can see what is inside. That's why we carry the anointing oil, which is a, a, a medium through which the Holy Spirit manifests in the lives of people. So please get yours ready. In fact, the Lord is showing me some people is going to heal and is healing right now as I speak. The Holy Spirit is showing me somebody on your left leg, your left knees, your left knees, on your knees. You're having problem there. And the power of God is healing you already. You're having problem with rheumatism on your knees, your left knee right now. The Lord is going to touch that place. Sometimes when you see that it's spinning you, but God is healing you. And that person at the back of this, your hand here, you have this the sensation of things that normally pain you. It's like bone inside your bone. God is healing you right now. Receive that healing. Receive it. Because God wants to touch you. That's why God is giving you, giving you now what you need on this platform. The power of God is here. And I can tell you before the end of this broadcast, you are going to experience a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. So, uh, mommy will pray for us uh, after we have introduced ourselves. And then the manifestation begins. So my name is Pastor Adiwato Miwo, the founding pastor of Destiny Church for All Nations in London and Washington, D.C., worldwide, wherever I, all, where we operate, where we operate, operating from. Uh, and she, mommy is here. She's my wife. I'm privileged to have her as my wife. And she's uh, our resident pastor for Destiny Church, London. You are welcome. Thank you. So, what is your name, Ma? Elezira. That is, uh, that she's giving us that name. So, we'll, she'll pray for us right now and we'll kickstart the broadcast. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you. We bless your name this morning. Yes, we Lord. thank you, Father. There is no better place to be but in your presence. Yes, Lord. We are here to receive your word. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, breathe over the word. Yes. Grant everyone understanding at their level. Yes, Lord. Let the word of God change our life today. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. In Jesus, Jesus gracious name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 So I want all of us to, uh, whatever we are, 
to get ready. This is anointing for release. The anointing to release destiny visibility. That is what today is about. The anointing to release destiny visibility. This is the 14th day of our fast. And I want to let you know, as we are fasting today, I want to let you know, is that the God that see it in the secret, he will reward you in the open. You have been fasting, and today is a day that we are fasting, and you are going to be anointed while you are busy fasting. While you are busy standing before the Lord, you shall be anointed just the way the Lord found David with the only oil he found them because he was lost and one of the reasons why we are doing this at the beginning of this year is because january is the beginning of the month january is the leading month of this year that's why we are doing this you know anything you don't do in the first month you can't call it foundation again and it's the fund is a foundation month it is the pillar month of this year and this is the beginning and that is why we are doing what we are doing now that the anointing of the holy spirit will come upon you that the anointing this anointing to make your destiny visible the anointing to remove every covering cast over your destiny that is what we are doing today and I know as you do that, this anointing that we are, we are having today, this anointing will find you. This anointing will bring you out of where you have been covered up, your destiny covered up. Now we saw here, and I will call it the anointing of visibility. And that is why we'll be saying to let us know that you need somebody to see you wherever you are. This year, you need somebody to see you. That is one of the things we are going to be letting you know. You need somebody to see you. And number two, you need someone who needs you to see you. Number three, you need someone. You need someone that you need to be able to give to somebody that needs you what they need from you. Because it's one thing for you to be available, it's another thing for you to be visible. You can be visible and not be available. There is something that you have that somebody is looking for. So when you are anointed, the Holy Spirit will connect you to the people that need you this year. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit will release you to those that need you this year. I want to let you know there are people that will see you this year, and when they see you, what they, as they see you, what they need, from you, God will empower you to give it to them. Mm. And, and, and that's why I'm saying to somebody here that even though some may not even like your face, but they need what you have. And that is why even, and that's why we are saying today that it's possible for, because when people come to you, they come to you because of need they can see that your life is going to produce in their life. Just to add to your point, like we said, when we are anointed, we begin to connect to people that need what we have. And it's just relevant to what the book of Acts 10, verse 38 says there. He said, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that we are oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Mm. The Bible said the anointing, God anointed him and he went about, mm. you know, being fulfilling the purpose why he's here. Mm. So the anointing will make us to be relevant mm. to what God has, you know, called us to do. The Bible said when Jesus was anointed, he went about doing good, you know, doing good. So for him to be able to achieve God's plan for his life, to be able to fulfill God's plan in his life, he needed to be anointed. Mm -hmm. And when he was anointed, he was able to fulfill those purposes. Mm -hmm. So the anointing of the Holy Spirit, not only to make us relevant, to connect us to those that need us, but to help us to accomplish what God has, you know, put in our life, what God has called us to do. Without the anointing, you will be in a slow motion. Mm -hmm. Without the anointing, you will not be a able to accomplish, accomplish a lot. 
So the anointing is to accelerate your destiny. The anointing is to take you from the ordinary realm to extraordinary level. And we saw it in the life of Jesus with all the as a son of God, he was not able to do the good work until when the anointing comes. Mm. So I believe the anointing will benefit us a lot, more than just, you know, of making us to be visible. But we want you to understand the anointing is a, is a, is a energizer, it's a supernatural force make you visible, yeah, that make you visible, make you relevant, make you also not only relevant, empower you to fulfill that which God wants you to fulfill. And it's not just only in the arena of the kingdom of God, but also relevant on the earth in your day-to-day -day life, you know, in your career, in your business, in your whatever area, you whatsoever you are pursuing, the anointing will be able to empower you to accomplish those things without a lot of more than human effort. That's what we are saying. Amen. We saw here, the Lord said to Samuel in 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 1, the Lord said to Samuel, how long will you mourn for for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from being a king over Israel, mm. fill up your own of fill up your own with oil. Go, I'm sending you to Jesse, the Bethlehem. I provided myself a king among his sons, but he's not aware. I have provided for me a king. There's a king among his children, but that boy is not visible. That boy is not visible to be put on the throne. So carry the oil and go to his house and remove the covering cast over that boy by the anointing. So when the anointing come upon you, it will remove the covering cast over your life so that those that need you will see you. Those that need you will see what you are doing. Let somebody that need what you are doing begin to see you. Let somebody looking for a husband see me as a wife. Let somebody that is also a wife See me as a husband. Let them begin to see what you have ordained me to be. David was a king, but he was covered. David was a king, but he was not visible. David was the king that was available, but was not visible. That's why the Bible says in Psalm 89, it's I found David my servant. I found David my servant. With my holy oil, have I anointed him. So you can be you can't find what is not lost. So he was lost. He was a king, but was lost. There's a millionaire in your house. God is as the anointing come today. The millionaire in you will jump out. Amen. The thing that is covering your glory will be released. Amen. You are he was born with a destiny as a king of a king, but he was covered. I said, many of us, you are born with three things. You are born with a destiny. You are born as a star. You are born with a glory. Please understand these three things. You are born with no matter what state you are. You are born with a destiny. You are born as a star. You are a star. The day you are born, a star is born. And you are also carrying glory. But sometimes the glory is not seen. Look at Jesus. The Bible says that when he was born, they saw a star. Mark that word. They saw a star in the east. It was because they saw the star. That's why they came to worship him. And after this anointing service, the glory you carry shall be seen. Amen. The destiny you carry shall be seen. Amen. Your star shall be seen. Amen. Matthew chapter 2, verse 2. The Bible says here, it says, and it says, verse 1. It says, Now Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judah in the days of Herod. And wise men came from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king? See that. He was born king of the Jews. David was born king, but he was not visible. The Bible says, For we have seen a star in the east, and we have come to worship him. We have seen the star. Ah, they will see you this year. Amen. I said they will see you this Amen. year. Your star shall be visible this Amen. year. They say we have seen a star. All oh, the destiny helper that we help you in 2021, they shall see you in Jesus' name. Amen. They shall see you in Jesus' name. Amen. Why did they come? They came because they can see his star. That's why I call the anointing for visibility. They said the wise men 
they came. Why did they come? They came because they saw. Okay, so person they didn't see the star. They will not have come. And what they gave Joseph and the wife was what they used in the in Egypt. God knew two people saw that star. When it, that star became visible, the wise men saw it. Herod also saw it. So God know that there are some Herod that will see the star. And what is Herod? I say Herod mean I had enemy right on duty. Herod is H E R O D. I had enemy right on duty. Just as the wise men saw the star, they came to help him. The enemy also saw the star, want to destroy it. And what happened is that you see that thing that the wise men saw, the wise men gave to Joseph a mayor, Frank Incense, and, 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 and uh, I'm a thing they gave to them. Yeah. Now, those things was what they used in Egypt. Because when they got to Egypt, the man was a carpenter. He had to pack up all his carpenter work. So it was not what they used to pay rent. We have to say themselves, there are wise men that need to see you. Mm -hmm. The wise men are destiny helpers. If they didn't see the star, they will not have helped them. Mm -hmm. There are people that are going to help you this year, but they need to see you. Mm -hmm. People cannot be helping somebody they cannot see. They saw a star. That was why they came. That is why by the anointing of the Holy Ghost today, mm -hmm. every covering cast over your life, it shall be burnt by fire. Mm -hmm. He said in Isaiah 20, 25 verse 8, he said, from verse 6 to 7, he said, he said, he said that, they, 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 that you are come to the mount of Isaiah, 25. Isaiah 25 from verse 6. He said, uh, 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 he said, on this mountain, it will destroy the covering cast over the people. Isaiah 25 verse 7. He said, on this mountain, it will destroy the covering cast over the people and the veil that is spread over the nations, the covering cast as you are anointed today, the covering cast over your head, mm -hmm. the thing that is covering your star, mm -hmm. covering your glory, covering your destiny. Today, as you are anointed, it shall be removed. Mm -hmm. It shall be unveiled. Mm -hmm. That veil that they have used to cover you up, that wise men can't see you. Wise men are destiny helpers. Mm -hmm. There are people that will see you this year and they want to help you. Mm -hmm. And when they see you where you are, they just just want to assist you. God put in their heart a, a, a standing up to help you because they can see your star. This year they will see your star. Amen. This year they will see your star. Amen. The wise men, wise men, help us of destiny. They will see your star. Amen. That's why we call it the anointing for release of visibility. As you are anointed, because anointment brings announcement. Anointment brings announcement. We saw that Samuel anointed David, and David was born king, but his star was not seen. A star was not seen until it was that only God saw it. God said, Go and to the house of Jesse and anoint for me a king among his son. You are not for me the person I mentioned to you. As you are anointed today, Magazagaro Pale Karagazababaya, the star you carry, the glory you carry, the destiny you are born with, that men are not seen. After this anointing, they shall begin to see your glory. Your glory will emerge. Your star will emerge. Your destiny will emerge. In the name of Jesus Christ, who you are, that men are not seen, shall be released in Jesus' name. Your your destiny shall be in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus was born as a king and his star was seen. That was destiny in that place and that is stardom. He was born a king and he saw his star. Magazo Bregeza Ganto Pale Gara Gaza. Some of you, you are born a star in the realm of singing. Some of you are born a star in the realm of business. Some of you are born a star. Look at those that play football. Their stardom is in their leg. What makes them a star is what they do. But somebody has to see them. Even when you are talking about Premier League, anyone in that place, they scout for them. They, they call them, they are, stuck, they, are, they are scouting for stars. So that is why I'm saying to many of you here, even some of the people that you see playing football today, somebody saw them. Somebody saw them. Say, this boy is good. This boy is good. 
As soon as they share the testimony, they are playing in one football field, and somebody as a scout just came and saw the boy playing and said, ah, this boy is good, oh. This, the way this boy is good, let me call the, somebody that is in Manchester United. This boy is good. Ah, they are scouting for stars this year. They are scouting for stars. Your star shall be seen in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, they saw a star. Ah, until people see your star, they can't be attracted to you. And that's why when he was anointed, David was born a king, not even his father. No, the father himself does not even know his boy is a king because there is a covering cast over him. Or oh, every covering cast over you, your daughter, your children. And that is why some people are not married because there's a covering cast over them. Those that need to see you as a wife are not seeing you as a wife. And that is why they are not talking to you. And the day they see you as a wife, you will see them chasing you because you are not visible. You are available, but you are not visible. And the anointing is so powerful that it brings us to, you know, to spotlight. So without the anointing, we won't talk about David today. He will just die as an ordinary man struggling, you know, running from desert to desert, from bush to bush. But when the anointing come on him, it brings him to a, to a spotlight. It bring him to his place of destiny. Remove the anointing that Samuel anointed David. We won't be talking died, about David. Died in that place. Yeah, we won't be talking about David as a king today. He may be struggling, and many people are in that state whereby they wander from place to place. They are destined for greatness, but because the anointing of God has not come on them, they wander from place to place. They wander from you know struggling to one, one level of struggling to another one level of problem to another. So the anointing is coming on us to, you know, to, to accelerate our destiny, to bring make us, to make us visible, to make those things that God say it's about us to start. be released, people to see our greatness, see people to see our potential, potential. Mm. people to see our gifting, mm. people to see Abilities. the, the beauty of God on us, mm. you know, to be able to put us forward to the place where God wants us, mm. especially in 2021. Mm. So the anointing is coming to accomplish specific things in our life. Mm. And when we have that understanding, our approach to the anointing of the Holy Spirit becomes different mm. because we, 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 we approach it with expectation. Mm. We approach it with sense of, you know, uh, yeah, sense of, of uh, responsibility, mm. sense that if I receive this thing, I know my life will change. Mm. And that's what God expects us. Mm. God doesn't want us to just come with empty head. God doesn't want us just to come to, to just say, okay, it's another oil coming on my head, but to come with your heart open mm. that this anointing will take me where my strength cannot take mm. me. This anointing will accelerate yes. my destiny, will be mm. a voice for me. Yes, will speak for me. When that anointing comes on David, things begin to work for him. Yes, yes, and yes. And that's what we the are talking about. Off. Yes, his career comes to the limelight. Yes. You know, his destiny begins to speak. Yes. The throne that God established for him, ordained for him, begin to become a reality. Mm. And that's where God is taking us this year. I want somebody to be full of expectation that as I am anointed today, my destiny of marital destiny will, mm. will be born today. Amen. My financial destiny will be born today. Amen. My destiny in career, maybe God promise you that by 2021, you will be at a certain level. You, you will move you from where you are to another place. Mm. But you can feel there is no power to make it happen. Mm. Today, by the reason of this anointing, God is going to accelerate you. Amen. The way he take David from the bush to the palace, mm. the way he take David from being ordinary man to extraordinary person. Mm. That's the grace, that's the anointing that is coming upon us today. Mm. And I can see someone's level is changing today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. David was born as a king, but he was not visible until he was anointed. Mm. David was born as a king, but he was not visible until he was anointed. Many of you, you are do you know, let me tell you something. Somebody must see you. Let me tell you my experience. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. My wife has had this every time I'm saying it again. I was lying down in one, I was one place in northern part of Nigeria. I was lying down on the floor. I was just praying on my own. And the Lord just showed me this wonderful woman by my side in the choir. That is why you have to be doing something. The Lord showed her to me. The Lord said, What? Say what? The Lord said, What? Told me, your first son will be a boy. His name will be called David. I said, okay, if that's a, okay, who, who, so who is the person that you will give back to that child? 
Do you know certain certain child are tied to certain people's womb? Do you know the Joseph is tied to the womb of Rachel? Not the womb of uh, not the womb of uh, Leah. So 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 the Lord showed me her. She was in the choir. Then that is your wife there. I said, hey. he said that one in the choir. God show it to me. So God need to somebody must see you say hey, hey. that you are available, but you are not available. God show me that is the person there. That's your wife. So I ran to church. I ran to my pastor. I said, Pastor, he said, What do you want to see? I saw something, sir. He said, What did you see? I said, I saw one lady in the choir. He said, what is the name of the boss? I said, I want to marry the girl. He said, I said, what is the name of the girl? I said, the girl is the ah, that one. That one is a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I said, so what do I do, sir? He said, go, go and talk to her. I said, ah, so where can I find? He said, go, they have me quite bad this now. I said, I enter and look for the other day. I have Okada. Okada, hey. Okada, we call her Chaba. Okada, wait, 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 wait. I don't Okada. I said, where am I? I said, chow, 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 chow. Now the name. Kada, I want to get them before they even prior practice. Because I have seen something, I have seen something. That, that is how people that need to see you to connect your destiny together. That's how they will see you this year. Yeah. As you are anointed today, every covering cast on your head uh, that is covering your glory, covering your destiny, covering your star shall be burned by fire. As you are anointed, oh bandege do bandega zubrakatande, oh brokosi talababaya. I want us to pray because mm. as you are speaking, mm. someone may be in a wrong place. Mm. Where he is needed, he is not there. It's not there where he's needed. But this anointing mm. we are talking about position will you. take you and position, we position you, right you where place. you belong. Yes. Someone is still looking for a wife. Yes. And he's looking at the wrong one. Yes, looking at but the wrong one. God will, um, you know, remove the covering card. Yes. And you will see the right person that God has for you. Yes. He said, if he said, God sees the heart, but we see the outside. Yeah, we see outside. Someone may be busy looking at the packaging, but the content is what God is looking at. Yes. You are about to pick a wrong one. That's not the one. But we are praying. This anointing, anointing of the Holy Spirit doesn't make a mistake. Mm. He doesn't make a mistake. Ah. When he hook you, when he yeah, connect you ba, 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 to the right thing, you will not, ba, 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 this is not anybody ba, 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 ba. but the power of the Holy yes, Spirit. Yes, 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 yes. The anointing of the Holy Spirit does not make a mistake. Yes, 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 when yes. When someone was about to pick the wrong one, mm. he told him, don't no, try it. No, no, no. They are not to know who you That's are. That's not the right one. They are not to know yes. who you are. He wanted to anoint earlier. He said, don't anoint him. That's not the person. That is not the person. That's not the person. He, went to, he said, that is not the person. The anointing know who you are. If men does not know who you are, the anointing know who you are. As you are anointed today, who you are, we jump out. As you are anointed today, who you are, you, are, you jump out. I want to let you know that you, as he was anointed, he was found. As he was anointed, he became visible. You shall be visible. Amen. In your career, you shall be visible. Amen. They are looking for a manager where you are working. And they, 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 are, they are looking, the manager, who can we can, who can be in charge of this unit? And they are thinking, ah, you shall be visible. Amen. You shall be visible for lifting. Amen. You shall be visible to a lifting. Sometimes the Lord cover you because of some people that can kill you before your time, like Herod. You know, Herod wanted to kill that child because they saw they saw earlier, but not to be covered forever. That's uncovering, yes. God cover your glory so that some people, some people that are like Herod, you want, don't want them to kill you when you are small. But then you are not meant to be covered forever. Amen. What is the beauty of a car that is covered? What is the beauty of a car that is covered? What is the beauty of a woman that is covered? And just, just like what we are right now, just like right now, right now, even for now, everybody is using mask. Everybody is using mask. Some people now you are saying to say, is it hello? How are you, Pastor? Say, who is that? I say, say I'm so to say, hey, ah, this uh, my mask has covered half of your nose. I don't even know you are the one. Even right now, people say, cover, cover yourself, cover yourself. Now, you are in a year of cover. Everybody covering their nose. Some people have to remove their, their mask and say, ah, you are the one. By this anointing, the mask shall be removed. <laughs> By this anointing, the mask that is covering you, covering your daughter, covering their star shall be removed. Amen. Amen. And I believe the anointing is coming to do two things for us. Shabba he said, you are the reason of the anointing, the yoke shall be destroyed. Yes. So everything that has hold us this 
fire. Yes. The anointing is coming to destroy that yoke to bring you to visibility. To yes, destiny. visibility. And the other hand, the anointing helped David to come to the lamb light. Yeah, it brought the him out. The anointing will bring you to the lamb light. Yes. The anointing will step you forward, will bring you forward. Amen. To the place where God wants you to be. Amen. Same. And I want us to really pray that everyone that is hearing this message, yes. that his destiny has been covered. You have been covered. We pray, Lord, uncover. They will see you, yes. Uncovering cast Uncover and let it be removed. Your destiny, your, your, your business partner, you shall be discovered. You shall be discovered as you are anointed. Magedo balega takata. As I am anointed, begin to pray right now. As I am anointed today, my destiny shall be discovered. The destiny of my children shall be discovered. Their stardom shall be discovered. go balega takata. As I am anointed, my best, my destiny shall come out of one that cover. By this anointing, people will see me. Those that need what I carry will see me. Oh, those that need me will see me. Magazomba ne kasomba kasata. Eyombo bo bo bo. I shall no longer be covered. I shall no longer be covered by this anointing. I shall no longer be covered. I am born as a king. Oh, badagando beke takata. I shall no longer be covered. Let let as a Babaya, I shall no longer be covered. Be My let destiny, let destiny be shall no longer be covered. Oh, but look, he said, the In destiny the of my children Jesus, shall be covered. Oh, 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 this shall be a mass removing anointing. This shall be a mass removing anointing. Begin to pray where you are. Begin to pray where you are. Magazakata. Begin to pray where you are. Magazata. As I am anointed, my destiny shall be visible this year. My destiny shall be visible. My destiny will be released. Oh, Bodogoria, this anointing will release me to the realm of visibility. My Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You see, when David was born, he was born as a king, but covered. That, and that, that visibility to be seen as a king was when he was anointed. The anointing removed covering cast. The anointing makes to be discovered. Look at people are discovering talent. Talent all over the whole place. They, they, they're living for talent. They're scouting for them. You see how many parents this day carrying their children to football field because they believe their son is a star and they want it to be discovered. That is why I'm praying for somebody here. They are looking for a manager in your office. You will be discovered. Mm -hmm. And also another thing I discover, the anointing locate the, the right people. Mm. Where the anointing is about to come on, you do something with your life. It's not coming on an empty head. It's not coming something. on an they empty life. Something. It's not coming on people that are David was lazy. with the sheep. Yes. yes, David was busy. You were with the sheep busy. David was busy developing himself. He yes. was busy developing his leadership. Yes, capacity. he was dealing developing with the sheep. his leadership. He was busy. Busy with the sheep. That's where he developed patience. He developed leadership character. Mm. He developed all those things. So the anointing is not coming on lazy life, on, or doing on, nothing. on empty life. He's coming to meet what you are prepared for what you have prepared yourself. Yes. He's coming to announce the gift in you. He's coming to announce the potential in you. He's coming to release you to your own world. You know, to showcase you. It's like when they carry models. You know, that's not that day they are showing their gift. These mm. people has been working Practicing. behind the scene. Mm. You know, they have been eating food that will make them to look like what they want, where they want to be. Mm. You know, so you have to work on yourself. It's not just coming to carry anybody and announce them to their world. If the anointing come on you, what will the anointing meet? Mm. 
What would the anointing need? So while in you fact, are there waiting, is, there is something the anointing have seen. Yes, that so is why they are coming. Develop your potential. Mm. Work on your character. Mm. Work on your leadership style. All this thing we find in David. All staying in the bush, David was doing was for nothing. Mm. He's developing patience, mm. resilient leadership, character. Everything Protecting needed the for that place of the palace. He was developing it in mm. the bush. Mm. He was developing with the, all the challenge that came through in his life. Mm. Is all the forces that developing for the anointing to find it. Yes. So if you run away from challenge, if you run away from responsibility to develop yourself, the anointing have nothing to announce. Yes, yes, so yes. So work on yourself because you are about to be announced. You are about to be released. You want to be married this year, work on yourself because the Holy Spirit, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is about to find you. Yes. It's about to find you. You know, you say you say the preparation is in demand, but the answer of the tongue comes from the Lord. Yes. So prepare yourself because the anointing of the Holy Spirit is about to. You find shall you. be found by this anointing. Amen. As you are anointed, you shall be found. Amen. But when they find you, in fact, that anointing is looking for you because he has seen something. Amen. You are born with a destiny. You are born as a star. You are born with a glory, but that glory, you have something to do, be doing something. David was found with his sheep. If he was doing nothing, he would not be found. My wife was in the choir. She was singing the choir. If she was coming to church today, not come tomorrow, they have to beg her, go to church now. He said, I don't feel like going. And she had been praying, oh, she had been praying for husband. She had been praying, oh Lord, God send me a husband. Consider, she had been praying and uh, in response to our prayer me too i have been praying god now says i will connect you not only praying also reading material because what kind of life do you want to be you know the anointing was meet something and the kind of thing he meet determine where you go so you have to prepare you want to marry you have to read books you have to get listen. yourself ready you know get yourself ready prepare joseph was getting ready for the day of palace he was in the prison he already got the cloth in case they say, as you come to the palace, mm. he already bought the cloth. He told somebody to go to the market and say, excuse me, I'm going to the palace one day. Eh? <laughs> I, I want to find him and say, let me buy a suit, eh? let me buy a suit. Then Joseph has bought the cloth for palace when he was in the prison. Then Joseph has bought the cloth to appear before the king before he got there. He already got in the cloth. I imagine him dressed up you know, in his room and we are, and say, hallelujah, one day I'm going to stand in the palace. Mm -hmm. As a lady, dress up before the mirror, tell yourself, look at this beautiful lady, one man is coming for you. Start getting yourself ready. Not the day of your, no, they are looking for now, you are looking for dress that day. Also prepare yourself to where you are going. Live ready. Yeah, don't, it's not about where you are now, but where It's about you where are you are going. going. If your mind is set for where you are going, begin to dress. Begin to prepare where you are going. Prepare. Begin to prepare where you are going now. Because you are about to be seen. Your star is about to be visible. Amen. Your glory is about to be released. Let me say something to, to you. Let me tell you something here. You have to prepare yourself. Mm. Prepare yourself for visibility. Mm. Prepare yourself for visibility. Mm. You know, I give testimony. I know my mother, I will give testimony for her. She was working in a place, just working, just putting cloth into the mash washing machine. And somebody said, How are you doing? He said, Oh, this is what I am doing. It's okay. Oh, what's the quality? I have this, I have that. Oh, you are qualified for this. Wow. And you are doing this. I have something for you. Somebody like you are needed to so place. The anointing will connect you to. The anointing, it will connect you. Yeah. I will, I took that, it's just like the story of David in the bush while his destiny is in the palace. So I took, I took that law job and she asked me, what is your qualification? I said, I have MBA in a master's in, in business in memory. She said, oh my God, this is not where you're supposed to be. Mm. You know, she just called me aside without knowing I was somewhere where I wasn't even visible to anybody. And she collected all my documents, collected everything, and she began to work on it to help me. 
to accelerate, to bring me to where to I'm supposed to, to be. Yes. So this is what happened. When you are prepared yes, and see. you are busy doing something, mm -hmm. you will be holy. The anointing will, will bring someone to find you, mm. to take you to the appropriate place where you Mother belong. Zaka, so you Zaka, have to be Zaka, doing Zaka, something. Zaka, Preparation Zaka, Zaka, will Zaka, meet Zaka. opportunity. Yes. And that opportunity will take you to where you belong. Yes. Without preparation, the anointing would find nothing. You mm. know, he said, don't frustrate the grace of God. Mm. So the grace of God must meet something mm. in you to be able to announce it to your world. So what would this anointing do for you? This anointing will make you to be seen. See, 1 Samuel 16, verse 18. He said, one of the servants of, of, the, of, of Saul said, look, I have seen the son of Jesse, the Bethlehem, who plays skillfully. He play you. Oh, he had been playing before that time nobody saw him. Because who is skillful in playing, mighty man of valor, man of war, who did his speech, and some person, the Lord is with him. Somebody among the palace, I have seen the son of Jesse after he was anointed. I have seen God for the first saw. God, go and anoint to me a king among the children of among the children of, of, of Jesse. Do you know in your family there can be a millionaire there? But it's not seen. Mm. There can mm. be a solution provider there, but it's not seen. It's covered. His glory is covered. As you are anointed today, your glory shall be released. Your glory shall be uncovered. As you are anointed today from today, people will see your star. That sister, people that need to marry will start seeing you. The anointing for visibility, the anointing for destiny visibility. As you are anointed, the man that need to see you for marriage will see you. Magazan Gaton le bazagata. Oh, yo bodogon tele baliata. Eh, bolo zatababaya. He said, I shall be anointed with oil and my eyes shall see. As you are anointed, your eyes too will see. Amen. Not only will they see you, you too you will see. Amen. This anointing for visibility, this Amen. anointing for removing blindness, I shall be anointed with oil Amen. and my eyes shall see. Amen. As you are anointed this year, your eyes will begin to see opportunities. Amen. Amen. So the anointing part of the benefit we are trying to state is that the anointing upgrade our level. Yes. It upgrades us. It brings us to our low level, to a higher level where God wants us to be. Amen. Also, it updates. It brings you to relevance. Mm. It brings you to relevance, either in revelation or where you're supposed to be. Mm. You know, you will not be where you, you will not be behind. You will not be, maybe God wants you to be in 2021 and you are still living a life of 1995. Mm. By God's program, you can and see you are so behind mm. so the, the the anointing of the holy spirit will upgrade you you upgrade your level mm. from where the struggling of life has kept you mm. to where god wants you to be mm. from whatever that has hold you down to the relevancy of today mm. to the relevancy of what god wants you to be mm. so it will upgrade you and it will update your life amen you will not be outdated amen because without upgrade without updating you are outdated amen your life will not be outdated. Amen. Your life will not be outdated. Amen. You will experience relevance. Amen. God will bring you to relevance. Amen. God will bring you to honor. Amen. So the anointing also you mentioned was the anointing can bring refreshment. It brings new things in our life. It makes oh, new Jesus. things happen. He said, how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good. Mm. Anywhere he goes about, he's doing good. Mm. Because the anointing is fresh. It empower him to do new things. Mm. And he's, uh, he, it announces him all over the place. Mm. Anytime Jesus moves, people gather around mm. him because they know new things will happen. Mm. So your life becomes relevant. Your life is full of new things. Mm. You know, the anointing announces. Mm. And that's what we want God to do for As us. As you are fasting now, and praying this is what the anointing will do. What would the anointing do? The anointing will cause to be found. Amen. The anointing will help you to become visible enough to be found. Amen. In 2021, let those 
let this anointing begin to showcase me. Amen. Lord, let this anointing begin to showcase me. Amen. Begin to pray right now. Lord, this year, let this anointing that is coming on you today, let it showcase me. Let this anointing showcase my life. Please pray where you are. Lord, I pray today, let the anointing showcase what I carry. Let, oh Lord, this anointing showcase me. I shall no more be hidden. I shall no more be hidden. I will no more be hidden. I will no more be leading. Let light come on my life. I will no longer be hidden. I will no longer be in the bush. I will no longer be in the bush. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I will no longer be in the bush. Okay, to by this anointing. I shall be found in the bush where I am. I shall be found in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall be found. I shall be found. I shall be found. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Number two, what would the anointing do for you? To empower you to provide solution to the problem they are looking for you for. Amen. It will empower you to provide solution to problems. After you have been found, you'll be empowered to have something to give those that find you. Amen. That's why first, and that's first John 2, 20. It says you have an unction from the Holy One. You know what to teach you. There's certain abilities and grace that is in you. Amen. That's why Paul told Timothy, he said, he said, stir up the gift that's within you by the laying on of my hands. Steer up the gifts, steer up the gifts that are gifts in you, that are abilities in you. As you are anointed today, when I'm going to pray, I'm going to pray right now. I said, to look, the Lord will empower you to give to people what they need from you. Amen. You'll become a solution provider. Amen. That need, that what they need, that need will be met through you in Jesus' name. Amen. We saw in 1 Samuel 16, 23, Amen. David, when he played for Saul, Amen. the devil will leave him. Amen. He met a need. That's why it was needed. He was anointed. To provide a need for somewhere for, for Saul. Mm. Saul was having a, an attack of an evil spirit. So that evil spirit cannot stand when David comes. David will play. As he play, God's presence will come. And that brain will drive away that spirit. Amen. And I have something to point out with that skill. David was not born with that skill. He learned. He developed it. He developed it. So we cannot just pray, God, give me this, give me this. There are Start places whereby we develop our potential. We develop the gifting in us. We, we, we take time to develop things in our lives. See that what that man us. said. The man said, I have seen one of these, the one of the servant of Saul said, I have seen the son of Jesse, mm -hmm. who is skillful in playing. He is skilled, skilled, skills. Man of valor, man of war, prudent in matter, handsome. He has, and the Lord would know that was, develop yourself. Amen. Skills, skills. Start before you are found. What can you do to improve your lot? Don't sit down where you are. Develop yourself. Don't go to school. Go to school. Because we have to address the, there are people that believe that you do nothing as a child of God. You just sit down and anointing do everything for you. Mm -hmm. No, the anointing come to meet something. You only come to amplify what you have. Good. So you, your own place is there to do. It's a joint responsibility with the father. You develop yourself, you work on yourself, and the anointing will come to announce yes, you. Yes, give me something for those the that need me. Yes. The anointing will give you something for those that need you. The anointing will empower you to give solutions to those that need you. The anointing will give you the, the ability, grace, to give to people, people that need you. Yeah, as, 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 as a man of God or as a Christian minister, you can't just sit down and say, anointing come on me. You don't pray, you don't fast, you don't read your Bible, you don't read books, you will be outdated. So the anointing only come to meet what is inside you, to announce you, you to your to world. Amplify what is inside. Yeah, to amplify what is inside there. So that's why it's very important to every aspect of our life need responsibility on our part to do our part for the anointing to be able to find a place to walk in us. It's a joint responsibility. It's not one-sided. You can pray all day long, God, give me anointing, give me anointing, and you are doing nothing. Lord, give me something for those that need me. Amen. <laughs> 
Lord, by this anointing, give me something for those that need me. Amen. By this anointing, Lord, give me ability, Lord, grace for those that need me. Give me something for those that need me. For Joseph, God gave him interpretation of dreams. For Pharaoh, that was why he, was, he couldn't be put back. God gave Joseph ability to interpret dreams. Lord, give me something for Lord, those that Jesus. need me this year. Pray in Jesus' name. As I am anointed this year, give me something for those that need me. Help me, Lord, as I am anointed. Give me something for those that need me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give me something for those that need me. Give me the anointing for solution. Give me something for those that need me. In the name of Jesus Christ. By this anointing. Give me something for those that need me. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the empowerment of the Holy Ghost manifest in my life. It could be the same anointing that made anointing for deliverance to be at work in the life of David. That anointing was what chased out evil spirits in the life of, of, of Saul. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So what I'm saying to, say to you is that this anointing will empower you to give you something to those that need you. Mm -hmm. That when they meet you, God has already given you something they are looking for. Amen. That was what the Holy Ghost did in the life of Joseph. He said, can we find a man in whom the Holy Spirit is? Mm -hmm. Genesis 41, 38 to 41. Can we find a man in whom the Spirit of the Lord is? The Holy Ghost already give to Joseph what Pharaoh needed. As you are anointed today, the Holy Ghost will give you what is needed. In that your office, the Holy Ghost will give you what is needed. It will give you ability that is needed. The Holy Ghost that gave Joseph the power, the capacity to interpret need. Lord, I pray today as I am anointed, give me an empowerment. Give me grace. Give me ability. Give me grace for those that is needed. Give me what is needed. Give me, oh God, something for those that need me. This year, Lord, give me something for those that need me. Zagatalia, as I am anointed, give me something for those that need me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Or continue in the evening because when you have not been found, you now need not only will you be found, you need uh, to now be rewarded after you have been found because not everybody was rewarded. Amen. And there are also things that may hinder this anointing from you know from coming upon us and which we need to be careful because two people there, the anointing is coming to accelerate us to accomplish, you know, what God has for us. But there are some character and attitude disqualify the anointing to rest on us. We see it in the life of David and Saul. You know, David was able to complete his journey as a king. Well, Saul finished it halfway. He couldn't even complete his journey as a king. You know, he was rejected because of certain character. He chose to please men than to please God. Yes, yes, His leadership yes. style was very poor. Mm. And these are the things that God will be looking at because he said, God, look at the heart. He will look at the heart. And men may look be looking at your package. And that is one thing that will God will be looking at the heart to decide if his anointing will rest on him. One of the things that will have the anointing to work as we round up, you must be born again. Amen. Have a relationship with God because David had a personal relationship with God. Amen. Number one, you must be born again if you want to be visible. He said, we have an, an, an unction from the Holy One. Mm. That is First John chapter 2, verse 20, 27. If you are not born of God, you can't have that thing. Mm. So we have an unction from the Holy One. But nobody will teach you what you need to do. But that one, born again. David has a relationship with God. Mm. Why he was, in, he was in singing to God in that place, mm. He had been praying where he was in that place. So he had a relationship with God. Number, one. number two, your heart. You have to work on your heart. The Bible says here in 1 Kings chapter 16, mm. verse, verse 7, it said, Samuel wanted to anoint uh, 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 the son of Jesse, Eliab. Mm. He said, 
I have called this and he said, he said, he said in verse six, when he came, he looked at the earlier and said, surely the Lord has not said this before him. The Lord said to Samuel, do you not look at the appearance of this man, but I have refused him. The Lord does not see as man see. For man look on the, after the appearance, God look at the heart. Mm -hmm. Why was David picked among many? Because of his heart. Mm -hmm. The anointing is a heart thing. The anointing can be put on your head, but it will not stay if you have a wrong heart. Mm -hmm. And earlier, God knows that battle is coming. In the day of battle, this one run away. Mm -hmm. David faced Goliath because God knows this kind of heart. He loved me so much, he put his heart. Mm -hmm. He will not allow anybody to be abusing me. Mm -hmm. He has a heart for me. He cannot wait anybody. He can't see a need in my house and see as they see it. Mm -hmm. Earlier, this one, if you see war, you run away mm -hmm. with the anointing. The way Saul was dodging it. He knows how to was anointed. Mm -hmm. But the Holy Ghost left him. Because his heart, well, he had a good heart at the beginning. He messed up that attitude. Mm -hmm. So your heart, let me tell this to you. When we, God does not look at your dress when you come to, to him. God is looking at your heart. Your heart is your dress before the Lord. Mm -hmm. Your heart, mm -hmm. your heart. Mm -hmm. So people are not, they can't stay on them like gay as because a greedy, lack of integrity. Like when people cannot keep this with you, you want to swing do what belongs to them. That kind of heart, you need to work on your heart. Mm -hmm. That's why when Gaius was holding the rod, the rod did not work in his hand. When the when he carried the rod, rod the anointing on that rod went away because of the heart. Because the anointing come on Gaius, he would have been selling it. Mm -hmm. He would have been selling it. He's after money, love money too much. He love money. In fact, the only way to know that he has died, if you put money in his nose, if he doesn't wake up, then you know that he has died. So people love money, they can do evil for money. No, no, please, develop a heart, work on yourself, be somebody of integrity, because anointing knows who you are. Mm. He knows this one, this one, ah, no way. This one run away. The day of battle. This one run away. Now, we saw David, it was the heart. God, I'm looking at the heart. I'm not even looking at the age. I'm not looking at the age. I'm looking at the heart of this boy. I love this heart. That's why the anointing rested on, on David, on Saul. David was another three times, Saul only once. Amen. And the good thing about David is that it's not that he's not a human being that make a lot of error and mistake in his life, but he always know how to win the heart of God by humbling himself to say he's sorry. In the journey of Saul, we never see where Saul turn back and say, Father, I'm sorry for all this error. David will always come back and ask God for mercy. For mercy, if he does anything mercy. wrong. And this is the unique thing. He said, when you are small in your own eyes, I that not make you the king of Israel. This is Samuel talking to Saul. They've been looking out for so somebody. Pride is somebody. Pride, somebody that when, they, when you are wrong, you can't just simply say, I can see I am wrong here. Please, I am sorry. Please, you see, that is, these are part of the heart. God told Saul, he said, when you are small in your own eyes, that not anoint you to be king of Israel. Can I see? Um, eyes, humility. You are, humility and anointing. Mm. When you are small in your own eyes, that no anoint to be king of Israel, and that's what he wrote here in First Samuel fifteen verse seventeen. He said, Saul said to Samuel, "When you are little in your own eyes, did I not anoint you? To, did I not put as head of Israel? Did the Lord not anoint you king? Mm. Can I see anointing connected humility. to the heart of humility? Mm. When you are small in your own eyes, that no anoint you king. See." Anointing is attracted to him mm -hmm. because God saw his heart. Mm -hmm. God didn't see his height. Mm -hmm. People were seeing the height of Saul that mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. God was seeing his heart. Mm -hmm. God saw in that time when he was anointed, it was small in your own eyes. It's not how you see people, how people see you. It's, it's how you see yourself. People were looking at Saul's height. God was looking at his heart. And he said, when you are small in your own eyes, in that no anoint you king, first Samuel 15, verse 17. Please let's work on our heart. Mm -hmm. That's why when anoint common people doesn't stay. Mm -hmm. Because the heart is, is so so you need to work on your heart, purify yourself. Don't live a life of lack of integrity. You can't keep anything with you. They can't keep anything with you. You will take it. The, the, the emphasizing point is anytime you go wrong, quickly run back to God yes. and ask for forgiveness and tell him you are sorry and not to go back again. To go and do the same, same thing. thing. But ability, all of us has mistakes, errors, we are human beings. Yes. But ability to come back quickly to God and, and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me. 
and don't go intentionally doing it again. When they told David he has sinned, he said, Lord, for seven days, begging him. Mm. But when they told Saul is wrong, he was defending it. And it's the people now. I don't want the people to run away from me. He said, to tell somewhere, ah, my Lord, I am sorry. Please forgive me. I beg God for me. David went on his knees and asked God for mercy. So when you see contract heart, a contract heart, God will not despise. A contract, a broken and a contract heart, God will not. Some people, they will do what is wrong and they still be defending it. You know what you did is wrong. You know it. And you are still defending it. Anointing won't stand on your head. That is the reason why anointing can even start and remove. Anointing can even come and go away. Once anointed does not mean always anointed. After Saul was anointed, God expected him to remain small in his own eyes. So Samuel told Saul, so, the Lord has a word for me. The Lord said, I should give you a word. He said, speak on. No regard for that man. God says, uh, Samuel says me. When the man wanted to go, he hold the cloth. The cloth, yeah, you tear my cloth. Yeah, your destiny don't tear, finish. <laughs> Everything start working upside down. Mm. Be careful of a man or a woman that will never accept they are wrong when they are wrong. Mm. It's an evidence of pride. Mm. We need God to ask God for grace, for humility. That's why some people are not, they are not, they are still covered. They are, they are still covered. Because of that, God does not look on the outward appearance. Men were looking at the height of Saul. God was looking at the heart of Saul. People were looking at David, how unkempt he was. But God was looking at his heart. Our dress before God is our heart. Mm. God does not look at your suit or how dressed you are. You wear gushy bag, gushy shoe, gushy cloth. God is looking for heart, good heart before him. A heart of a servant. And he said it very well. He said, I have found David my servant. A heart, number two, a heart that's willing to serve. Mm. There's that people looking for anointing. That people are not is looking for. Mm. That boy was serving the sheep. They say, "Who did you leave?" They say, "Where is the boy?" They say, "Who's with the sheep?" That boy has a heart of a servant. If you don't have a heart to serve, you can't have the anointing because the anointing is for service. Mm. The anointing is for service. The anointing is for service. Mm. When God anoints you, is anointing to serve people without anointing. Like the way he anointed Jesus was going about. He anointed Jesus was going about it, was, was hiding about. Showing kindness to people. Yes. Himself. What can you do if they tell you to do something? If you cannot do it, tell them, show me how to do it. Mm. Don't run from responsibilities. When they say do something, don't run from it. Don't run from responsibilities. Embrace responsibility because that is the key to your anointing. Mm. If God anoints you to do what? So anointed me to preach the gospel mm. and not for assignment. Mm. David was anointed because he was taking up the sheep. Mm. God said, This one will take up the sheep, will take up the nation. Mm. See the way he was taking up this sheep, it will take up a nation. Mm. But this one, ah, look, a uh, sheep wanted to kill, they want to kill the kill the animal. David rose to their defense. Mm. You will not kill this animal. Wow. Uh, and, 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 and God saw the way he was doing God said, This, I found somebody. Mm. I have found some. That's why when Goliath came, he, the same attitude he had. That I can't stand any any a sheep or lion to take the sheep. Is the same attitude he had towards Goliath that you can't take Israel. Because that's the thing God saw in his heart. Mm -hmm. God is a God of hearts. It's not a God of face. God looks at our heart. Please, let's clean that place up. Clean up that heart of yours. Let's clean it up. Let's work on ourselves. And as you are anointed, the anointing will stand. Amen. The heart of a servant, God will give to you. Amen. A heart that is willing to do the will of God. He said, I found David, my servant. That's Acts chapter, chapter 13. I found David, my servant. A man after my own heart. Acts 13, verse 22. I have found David, a man after my own heart, that will fulfill all my will. That kind of heart, he wants to do the will of God. He wants to please God, not himself. When his will comes in contact with the will of God, your own will will just. If this is what God says, 
I'm it. The word of God is the will of God. Anything God says, I am for it. Mm. Anything God say, yes to. So a, what is that kind of heart? A heart that wants to fulfill the will of God. A heart that's after God. Mm. I have found a man, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, mm. who shall fulfill all my will. That's the kind of heart. Mm. A, a heart that is going after God. Mm. A heart that loves God. A heart that wants to do the will of God. Mm. That is the criteria for this anointing to work for you. I don't want to go tell you something without telling you. Heart. You can't have a good heart towards God and be hiding something from him. How can you have love God and be hiding what you have from him? And you can pray like David prayed. He said, renew a right spirit within me. So Create in me a new heart. Yeah. So we can pray that God let's pray. that heart. Lord, let's pray right now. Let's pray that Lord give me the heart. Give me a heart for you. Give me a clean heart for you. Give me a clean heart for you, Lord. Give me a clean heart for you, Lord. Give me a clean heart for you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you because we know that you are a God of hearts. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So if you are not born again, we we'll pray this prayer after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus I come to you right now. You forgive right me now. my sins. Me Wash me with your blood. With today, your blood. today I, receive I receive you as my Lord and Savior. You as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving my Thank soul. You for saving my soul. In, Jesus name, we'll pray. in Jesus' name, we pray. Bring out your oil, Lord. With this anointing oil, we'll be anointing yourself for visibility, mm -hmm. Lord. I have this anointing. Bring out your oil, whatever you are. Bring out your anointing oil and anoint yourself. I pray over your oil right now yes, that this oil become the power of God Amen. by this anointing, yes. the, 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 the power of God fill up this oil Amen. and become an instrument to touch lives. Amen. Thank you for this oil. You, fill it with your power Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let's pray. Say with me, I believe in the anointing oil ministry. I believe in the anointing oil ministry. Lord, as David was anointed, Lord, as David was anointed among, his brethren, among his brethren, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God came, upon him. came upon him. Lord, today, today as, I am anointed, as I am anointed, let your Spirit, let your spirit come over me. over me. Let your Spirit, let your spirit for, visibility. for visibility. Let the anointing, let the anointing that will empower me, me to give something to those that need me this year. Let that anointing rest on me. Let this anointing remove the covering cast over my destiny, over my star, over my glory. This year, my destiny, my star, my glory shall be visible in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because it's done. Amen. I'm not putting that on your head. No professor right now. Lord, by this anointing of your spirit, as I am anointed today, Lord, help me, Lord, that this anointing will bring the release of the power of the Holy Ghost upon my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me by this anointing. Help me by this anointing to become visible. Let this anointing be visible in my life. Let there be change in my life. Lord, help me. Every covering cast over my life, let it be removed. Give me a heart for you. Give me a heart for you. A heart that will do your will. A heart that will run after you. A heart that will serve you. A heart that will do your will this year. Help me, Lord. A heart that will please you, Lord. Give me a heart that chase after you. Give me the heart of a God chaser. Give me a heart that chase hard after you, Lord. A heart that pant for you like that of, like that of a deer. Give me a heart, oh Lord, that will keep this anointing on my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I pray for you if you are sick in your body. Every sickness in your body is hereby terminated in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody is having a tooth problem on the lower side of your tooth. You're having a problem. Be healed in Jesus' Amen. name. Everyone with any affliction, I command have not destroy right Amen. now. Place your body, wherever you may have any pain, any pain in your body, every sickness in your body, anything you are believing God for that is not of God in your body, I command them to go in Jesus' Amen. name. I command healing for you. Amen. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. As we are fasting this week, receive grace, yes. receive strength. Amen. Thank you, mighty Amen. God. Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to thank everybody.
joining us today for this program. Thank you very much. Remember, we are continuing our fast. Today is the 14th day of this fast. And we'll continue this evening by 7 on Zoom and 8 p.m. We are back here on the second phase of this anointing. Talking about the second phase of this anointing. What will this anointing do for you? I'll be talking about that in the second service today by 8 p.m. on this same, this same um, time, 8 p.m. UK time, which is 3 p.m. New York and Washington DC time. Please let me share this message with somebody. Share it with somebody. Please share this message. I believe to be a lot of blessing for somebody. Mm -hmm. Remember this month, we are doing our first food fast, our first food offering, and our first food, our first food prayer. Mm -hmm. Three things we'll do this year for to take over the year. First food fasting, first food offering, and next one will be our covenant Sunday, mm -hmm. where you tell God, this is what I want to, to do for me this year. Mm -hmm. And you too, you tell God, this is what I'll do for you this year. We are taking our first food offering next Sunday. Please get ready. We'll put the platform there. We'll put the link there. Get ready to sow your seed this year. If you want to see God this year, you have to sow. Mm -hmm. it only those that sow seed will see God. Mm -hmm. And a seed is only a letter a short of C. A one letter added to C is what they call it. You will know what is a seed we see. What you sow for, you will see it. So please get ready next Sunday. We are taking our first food offering. One good offering, maybe one week income, maybe one month income. Just let God speak to you. You have to stand before God with a sacrifice this year. You can't stand here. This is a pillar month. This is the beginning of the month. Sacrifice before the Lord and bring an altar before him so that things can turn around for you this year. Nothing goes for nothing. And as you do that, the power of God will be with you mm. in Jesus' name. Mm. Please, let's meet this evening by seven. By seven on Zoom and eight. Mm. So God bless you. And I want to thank all of you for joining us tonight. Thank you all of you that join us on this uh, place. There are so many people here, but I'm able to go through all the names because of our time. Our time is well spent. Uh, please, boy, I thank every one of you hanging with us, all the members of Destiny Church London. I appreciate you. The Lord bless you and honor you and give you a blessed day. Today we are having outreach uh, 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 to reach out to our, our homeless people and down and out in Deford. If you are available, join us to help somebody. Give you a help. And remember God saying when you are fasting, mm -hmm. is it not to give out your bread to the hungry? Mm -hmm. When you are fasting, it's not to give your bread to the hungry. That is mm -hmm. Isaiah 58, 58 verse. Not only prayer. Mm -hmm. Prayer is not enough. He said give bread to the hungry. Give something to them that are hungry. So get involved in this kind of thing. It will help your fasting. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 58 verse 7. Get involved. It says not to give your bread, but you sit down in the house. It's more than prayer. Do giving also. Be involved in helping somebody. Mm -hmm. And God will help you. Mm -hmm. I know I will hear your testimony. Mm -hmm. This year will be your best Amen. year. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you all. See you in the evening. In the outreach. And see you this evening. Love you guys. On behalf of myself and my wife. We love you on the behalf of leadership of this church, Destiny Church London and DC. God bless you. See you in the evening. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Bye-bye. To receive a faith for today that will last you a lifetime, they must be born again. You must be born again. There is somebody that has that thing.